Today's the day, guys, finally. I bought this little 17-inch Blackstone all the way back in December on a Christmas sale for like $50, and I'm super excited about it. I have a 22-inch that we use at home, and this one's gonna live in the camper. So it's time to open it up, check it out, season it, and see how well it does. So stick around, let's check it out. So these things are pretty easy to set up. Um, one of the advantages to the newer 17s are the grease trap in the back. The other ones used to have it there in the front, which a lot of people report as um, being less desirable. So I don't know, it's not something that I have had to deal with before, but uh, the 22 has it in the back and I like it. Feet are easy. They just screw right in. And this is the heavy duty part. And the way this thing stores, is it's supposed to sit like that. And then I actually have a case that I bought separately that this whole thing slides into. You gotta remove the propane arm. But this whole thing slides into it, into a nice little case, and, uh, and it's good to go. So when you put your um, when you put your top on, make sure that the little pegs go in the little holes there, like just like that. Uh, make sure that the griddle top is secure, because that'll hurt if it falls on you. Even worse if it's hot. So it does come with the seasoning instructions. I do recommend you follow them. You're going to hear all sorts of stuff online if you look for it um, about how to do it, but kind of figure Blackstone knows best. Um, and I followed their instructions last time, which is rare for me to do, but I did. And it worked out great. And um, the griddle I have now is awesome. So I'm gonna do the same thing. First step is to wipe it down with a cloth. A um, little bit of water, wipe it down with the cloth. They have a protective coating that they put on it of soy oil, and they just want you to get that cleaned up a little bit. And then you will preheat your grill and throw down a, your first coat of oil. So we'll get to that in just a second. Let's. Um, Let's go ahead and just throw a little bit of water on here and get this wiped down. Now, I will tell you, you have to treat these things like you treat cast iron. And that means water is generally a bad thing. Um, you, you don't really want water on your grill. So this will be one of the only times you really do it like this. The rest of the time, um, you can squirt a little water on while it's cooking and it'll help steam off some of the, the debris that gets on the grill. All right, so this should be more than, more than enough. It's clear of debris. I don't see anything else on here. And notice the color, because this will get a lot darker as we get through this. I also want to let you guys know, this uh, seasoning process does take a few hours. So make sure you have the time to do it. So last time when I set up my 22, I read the directions for the seasoning part, because that's what I was most concerned with. But I didn't make it all the way to the propane part because I figured, eh, I've done this a million times. But what Blackstone recommends is to actually put the bottle on first and then attach the um, regulator to the grill. I've never done this before with any other um, little propane products that took these um, one pound bottles and never had a problem with it. But the, um, I, I had tons of problems with this thing frosting over, not getting propane to the grill and all that kind of stuff. So my two problems were I didn't do it this way first and um, I didn't have the regulator at a 45 degree angle. So now I know and now you know. Okay. Now it's resting on here. It seems to be nice and tight through here. I don't really hear or smell anything so I probably won't blow up. Sounds like it went. All right, so step one, heat up your blackstone. My 22 inch is in a covered area, so I don't have a lot of problem with wind, but I have heard lots of complaints of problems with wind um, on, on these 22, on these smaller models. And there are different wind guards that you can get 
You can buy them from Blackstone. There are um, some things from, from uh, Dollar Tree that you can get that's supposed to fit right over there perfectly. So I'll link to a couple of those things um, just in case you guys end up having problems with wind. So let's talk oil for a real quick second. You're gonna do several layers of this um, process where you, you put a thin coat of oil. You really just need a thin coat of oil. You let that oil burn off, it'll start smoking. And you let that keep going until all that smoke's gone. And then you let it cool down, you put another thing of oil on, rinse and repeat. Not rinse, but you know, repeat. And you do this about three to five times, I think. And you'll hear a lot of Blackstone purists say, flaxseed oil, flaxseed oil, everything's flaxseed oil. Don't use flaxseed, or if you don't use flaxseed oil, then you're ruining your grill. And that's not true. Blackstone literally says use any oil. And they give a few examples. Flaxseed is one of them. Regular vegetable oil, um, olive oil, um, any kind of thing like that. Basically, it's the fats in the oil that are bonding to the griddle plate that give it that, that seal, that really make it, um, it adds some flavor to it and it adds that kind of nonstick coating and, and really makes it um, the, the griddle quality, gives it that griddle quality that it needs. So any oil you want, use whatever you want, whatever you like, uh, but I have read that using a variety of oils during the seasoning process helps add a little different flavors, gives it a little better coat. Um, and that's what I did the first time around and I was real happy with the process. So that's what I'm gonna do around this time. I usually use olive oil, so I'll throw some olive oil this time. And then maybe we'll use some um, coconut oil, maybe some vegetable oil. And then at the end, we'll cook up some bacon because that, uh, that bacon grease will be a great way to finish it off, put that last level on there. And then we get to eat bacon, so you really don't need much. Just a little bit, and then you wanna spread it around real thin and evenly. Use a nice cloth, paper towel is fine. Spread it even, and use some tongs. And you wanna coat the entire surface, every last bit. You wanna make sure you get the corners, and you wanna make sure you get the insides of the griddle too. Well, it's not as important as the cooking surface, but still kind of give everything a nice coat. So we're gonna sit here and let this smoke off. It's probably gonna take a good 15, 20 minutes to, to get everything cleared up. And that's okay. That's why I said this is gonna be a long process. The other thing, which I didn't do because I can never seem to do things all the right way, um, it's probably best to make sure this is on a pretty even surface. Especially, you know, when you're cooking on it, that makes life a lot easier, but um, to avoid pooling when you're seizing it, having it on a pretty even surface is good. It looks like this is okay, so um, I lucked out, but when you do yours, make sure you check it. All right, we'll check back with this thing in just a minute, or really like 20. All right, so we have about four or five coats on here. I went and alternated. Um, did some olive oil, did uh, one round of vegetable oil, and two rounds of coconut oil. So just to give it some variety, again, it really doesn't matter. According to Blackstone, it really doesn't matter what oils you use. Lots of people like the flaxseed oil. I say, hey, if that's what you want to use, go ahead. But finishing off with bacon is always a good way to go. And what you'll do is you'll cook the bacon, and there'll be all the bacon fat pulled up, and you just want to smoke it off. And for the first, I don't know, maybe five cooks, you do want to kind of do that seasoning again. If there's oil left over, go ahead and just cook it off. Let it smoke up like, it, like you did during the seasoning process, and it'll get a nice good coat on it. If you notice on here, the left side of this just really didn't get as dark as um, the rest of it did. But over time, it will darken. Just watch those areas. I think they're fine. They're good enough for now. Um, but just we'll watch those areas and, and over time they'll season up and really after about five or six cooks You're gonna see that this looks great All right, so now that our final cook is done with the bacon um, You can see this is a lot nicer um, you get a little bit blacker on the edges and uh, It really worked out well. So What we'll do is we'll leave a very 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 thin coat of oil on this thing um, and then when it's cooled We'll actually pick the griddle up, flip it over, and that'll protect the cooking surface. If you want to, you can purchase one of these cover and carry bags. 
Um, obviously, I haven't used this one yet, but uh, all the reviews, videos, and things that I've seen about it, it is pretty great. And with the 17 inch being really the portable model, having something like this that you can pack it up and carry it around in is um, probably very, very worthwhile. So, I don't know, I'm gonna use it. So when it's cooled off, I'll pack it up, I'll put it in the bag and put it up. I'll leave a link to this below. One thing to be mindful of with these um, grills, especially when you're doing the initial seasoning, these little one pound propane tanks don't last super long. I actually ran out in the middle of cooking bacon and luckily had like a quarter of a spare somewhere. Um, so make sure you have uh, you know, plenty of those around or buy the hose adapter and hook it up to a 20 pound tank. They also make these little adapters that um, you can use a 20 pound tank to fill the one pound tank. So I'll leave a link below to that as well. I don't personally have one, but a lot of my friends do and they really speak very highly of it. All right guys, that's a wrap for today. Um, I hope that it was entertaining and useful. And if you have any questions at all, leave me a comment below. I'll have tons of links in the description for you. Um, but leave me a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time.